What's up guys, SAG here. Welcome to another video today of the Smithies FC career mode. We get started off here at Mitchell Park here. We face off against Carlisle United. Let me just take a quick breather here. There, everyone can relax after that game uh, yesterday where we ended up drawing with two last minute winners. There's Paxton Aronson and Jake Matt. It's going to be an exciting one, but we need to play better. We had a rough... I wouldn't say bad stretch of form, but we need to be better, to say the least. I think we just haven't been at our best. It's going to be hard. We're a mid-table team, but I feel like we can go above and beyond that. I feel like this is our year to promote. I'll be honest. This is our year to promote. And if we don't promote this year, we must promote next year. We have a decent team. Looking to start on lap. No change in it except Dorota gets a start on the left. And Aronson is going to be at Cam. And Jake Matt's going to get the start at the striker position. Here. As again, we're just running with our regulars here against Carlisle. I think we can get really get this win. I'm really confident. We really have a packed get schedule coming up, really. I, have, of course, had to do a lot of maneuvering around it so we can maneuver around international break. But it's going to be jam-packed as we look into the Carlisle United lineup. They got Farman, Annette, Tanner, Hayden, Bennett, Anderton, Guy, Devine, Riley, K.O., Dickinson, and Patrick. Now at the striker. I believe we played Carlo United earlier in the season. Their lineup is very familiar to me, at least. Just seen them. I think it was away. Was that the first game against Carlo United? I believe so. So this is our second time against them here. There's Jake Matt ready to kick it off. We are here in front of Mitchell Park here. As we are ready for Carlo United and Smithies FC as we are underway here in the sixth minute. Here's Tanner. Tanner still going with it. Tanner has it. Tanner gets it around. Nigel gives it the Dickinson off to Divine. Hits off Jordan, but it goes in. Divine takes the lead for Carlisle United. Hits 1 0. Once again, we can see an early goal. Kind of a weirdest play. Fashionary really needed to win that ball there. He couldn't. Nigel tried to get to it, but it was a nice play. Dickinson who plays it up. As you can see, Dickinson here plays it up. Somehow he's onside, and Jordan. Diving past it. Oh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan, Jordan. Again, it hit his foot and then just a flex in. That's a big goal for Carlo United as it is now 1 0 for them. Daniel Devine getting his first goal of the season here. Moving on here, we move on to the 30th minute. Dickinson has it. Looking around. Playing off the Riley with the strike. Nice block by Nigel. We really are dominating possession, but we just can't find chances. Look at this block by Nigel. Again, his foot out on it. Making sure Jordan doesn't have to make a play on that. As now it's a corner here. Dickinson to take. He throws it in. Nothing doing there. Dickinson still with it, but he is offside there. So that was really mainly it. Um, except here on the 45th minute where we have a corner. Um, played in the box. Hayden was the header right at Jordan. Again, not much going for us. We give up an early goal, and we just can't do much offensively. We were the dominant team. We were we were the better team, really, the way we played. But we just can't find the net, and they found the net early. And that's the unfortunate reality of what it's been like this half. Moving on here to the 50th minute. Bashar has it here. He's looking around, and he's got Paxton Aronson. Aronson playing it back here. Bashar looking. He's got the ball to Simo, who has Jake Matt. Here goes Jake Matt. It's Jake Matt with the strike. It's 1-1. Jake Matt with the left foot. Nice finish, and we even it up here against Carlisle. Dominant with the ball, and now putting it in the back of the net. Nice play here to ball to Simo, who finds Jake Matt, and one time hits a rain to the corner. That is my that is our world class striker Jake Matt, absolutely fantastic there. As he ends up making a one one here, Smithy's really happy with that. As was as like thirteenth goal, fourteenth, it's twelfth. There you go. I'm getting there. Jake Matt, he's got a lot of goals this year. He's a top goal scorer. And he's been showing his class in this league. He really is a tier above, really, thinking about it. Here's Diego Durate playing at the John Tolkien. Tolkien into Jake Matt. Jake Matt looking. He's still going. Jake Matt with it. Jake Matt with the strike. Oh, he got a lot on it, but it was just wide. 
That was a whipping strike. Look at the power on this thing. Keeper would have no shot if it found the corner, but it only hits the other post. Moving on to the 79th minute. Carlina with a cross here. It's in the Turi! Just misses the net. Not much going on after that Jake Matt goal in the second half here. As eight minutes later, Bashar has it. Not too much time left. Jake Matt looking for Durate. Sorry, Hugh Baldwin who cams in for Anderson. Anderson looking for Adam Barton. Barton. Bashar. It's in there, Andrew Santoro! Oh, that's a big chance for Andrew. He missed a huge, huge chance to win the game. It wasn't even close, really. He kind of shanked it, didn't he? As he just completely misses the target there. As not much time left. It looks like it's going to finish 1-1 here. As Foreman here has it. He's going to send it deep. Header 1 here. Here's Bennett. Off to Riley. Can Carlo United get one more chance? Torres with it. Torres is looking around. He's back to Riley. Riley back to Torres and to Anderton. Anderton's going to... Can he throw in a cross? Josh is all over him. He does, but Jordan's all over that. That's going to be the end of the match. 1-1. One, one. Not too much going on, really. Get an early goal. We dominated the ball a lot, but we just couldn't generate chances, and we got to be better. We have a good team. We should be winning games again. We do have some players that are just above and beyond, and some players need to just get better. And Jordan wasn't too bad today. Jake, he's above and beyond. Andrew, he's above and beyond. Nigel, above and beyond. But some of the other guys, they need to start catching up. I'll be honest. We need a solution at Cam. Maybe Junior, when Junior Story, I love that name, Junior Story. When Junior Story becomes 16, he can come into that Cam position because we need someone good right now that can develop. And I know Junior Story is that guy. So, again, it was not too bad. The home crowd, not disappointed, but they were okay with the result, I guess. It wasn't too bad. It's a draw only as we go into the post match interview here. Just a couple of questions for you. As to talk about, again, it didn't look good, but we did respond. Again, we, we were resilient. We really played hard. And, I mean, we should have won him to me, but I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to be nice about it. But we definitely were resilient. We worked hard. Again, everyone's expecting that, and we definitely got that. The players gave everything. They just couldn't get too much there. Jake, I mean, I what else can I say about Jake Matt? He is absolute class. It's been fantastic for us. He's developing at a rapid rate. And I think, guys, next episode, I will decide on a captain. Uh, you heard it here. I will decide on a captain. Um, likely. So that's going to be great. Uh, as you can see here, we're going to finally convert Taylor Bradshaw from right mid to left mid. So that's fantastic. We're going to try to develop him and see what he can turn out to be. He's got some good pace on him, man. I think he can turn to a starting left mid. His potential is really good. We just got to use it. So we're going to put him at inverted wide midfielder. and Hopefully we can just develop him into something really good. Uh, next game, we have Charlton Town here as I look to edit this lineup. As you can see, Jake, Matt, and Andrew are above and beyond. Same with Josh, Nigel, Bashar. Bashar. So some other guys are lagging behind, though, and they need to be better. Uh, so looking here, I'm going to give Hugh Baldwin a start, I believe. Did I give Hugh Baldwin a start? Uh, I think I did. Yep. So we're going to quick sim this one against Charlton Town. And disappointingly, we get a 2-2 draw. I don't know about that, man. I thought we were going to be better than that. Charleston Town, they're a decent team. I'll give them that. Andrew and Jake getting our goals, but... I mean, like, what? Bradshaw came in there late. I just... I really didn't like that. I thought we should have won that game. And it feels like we're getting way too many draws. As you can see right now, we're in 14th. Of course, we have games in hand. Um, Josh Matt has had too many yellow cards, so he's going to be suspended for next game. So, moving on. We're going to play Tramir Rovers. We're going to play this game. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat there, guys. Again... We're going to maintain form. We're obviously going to be mid-table, but I think we can get to that playoffs. Uh, my goal right now is to get between 4th and 7th because that's where we should be. Again, it's hard to be sure why we're struggling, but I'll tell you guys, this team is playoff ready to me. Look into our starting lineup. Scully and John Quar are going to get the start at the fullbacks. Jack DeVries has to get a start with Taylor Bradshaw. Paxton Erickson is going to come up and play Cam. 
Still Jake Mattis, striker in the regular pairings at CDM and center back. Jordan Zanette, obviously, here. As that's our team here against Tremere Rovers. Again, Tremere Rovers is a decent team right now. They are, are in seventh. I don't know about those uniforms, though. I guess they're okay. As the two teams shake hands here. Tremere Rovers starting lineup. We got Ben Jones here. Leo Connor, Sid Nelson, uh, Kyle Hayde, Callum McDonald, Jay Spearing, uh, Paul Lewis, Danny Walker-Rice. We got uh, Liam Feeney, Mike Nugent, and Jolly is going to play up at the striker position. Interesting lineup there for Tremere Rovers as the two teams huddle here. And we are ready for action here in the EFL League 2. There's Michael Ball to Simo getting ready here at Mitchell Park. As the crowd has come to see Smithy's FC here. As we start from the seventh minute, here's uh, Nigel. And Joe Scully and Nigel collide. Oh, what was that? And Fashionary, sorry, oh, what a play. Fashionary bailing them out there. And Bashar now has it. Bashar with Jake. Jake is going to play to Paxton Aronson. And now Paxton Aronson is through. It's 1-0. Big time play by Gianfranco Fashionary. He plays it up to Bashar, who finds Jake. And then Paxton Aronson. Puts it away. Nice finish there. And it's 1-0 for Tra Sorry for uh, uh, Smithy's FC. The crowd going crazy here at Mitchell Park. Again, look at Jake here. Gets a rate right to Paxton Aronson, who finishes it with his left foot. That is fantastic stuff from him. Keeper with no shot there as he goes across. Again, good play. Really, really good play. We, we need that. Uh, Smithy's celebrating there with the team. Great start early. And we need, this is a game we could use here. Uh, seven goals in the EFL League 2 for Paxson Aronson. As that makes it 1-0 here. So, moving on here. As you can see, we're team playing around. 17th minute, Nugent has it, finding Lewis. Lewis looking for Liam Feeney. Liam Feeney. Back to Nugent. It's Jolly. Back to Lewis. Nice play here by Tremere Rovers. He's trying to get the ball around to open up a chance. Lewis. Lewis still with it. Back to Liam Feeney. Lewis has had a lot of the ball here. He's finding Nugent. Nugent plays it across. It's into O'Connor. Who oh, has a big chance for O'Connor. Just heading it wide. Uh, I believe that jean Croix was not ready for that one. But we get away with it. As he heads it wide there in the 21st minute. As Jan Franco Fashionary has it here. We're going to move on to the 26th minute corner here for Tranmere Rovers. Played in to Jolly, who heads it. Lewis still with it. And back to Feeney. Feeney, oh, that's a nice play by Feeney. Off to Lewis. Lewis jacked the rise on him there. Back to Nugent. Nugent to Feeney. Nice block by Nigel. Bashar has it. Back to Taylor Bradshaw. Can, it, can we counter? Aronson, he's going to look for Jack DeVries, and that's a really nice ball there. DeVries has it. He's going to look in for Jake Matt. Oh, big save rebound when Matt's all over it. It's 2-0. Jake Matt pulled off the volley, but it was a big save. Deflects right back off him and goes in. And Smithy's FC here is going to take a 2-0 lead off the counter. Nice cross by Jack DeVries. Look at this ball. That is absolute world class. Jake Matt all over it. Big save the first try, but uh, he deflects right off him for the second attempt there. Right off his knee, right into the net. And Jake Matt getting his 13th goal, sorry, his 14th goal of the season here. To make it 2-0 here. We get a nice lead here over Tranmere Rovers. Absolutely fantastic here. As now we have a sizable lead to work with. Moving on here. Well, you know how I am with sizable leads. Not the greatest. Nugent has it here. He's playing it around McDonald. Playing it deep to Nugent. Nugent. Here's, here's the rise. Bashar. It's Nigel. Fashionary with it here. Ball to Simo. Playing it to Taylor Bradshaw. Here's Jake Matt. Jake. Looking, and he was looking for DeVries, but couldn't find him. Feeney, Jolly, back to Feeney. Nice play by Nigel. All over that. Here's Paxton Aronson. Aronson looking deep for Jake, but he couldn't find him there. Just trying to get the ball to him. Here's McDonald. Back to Lewis. 
Lewis playing it deep to News. Sorry, McDonald. News to McDonald coming out of there with no one around him. Here's Jolly. Jolly has the ball for Feeney. It's Liam Feeney. Oh, it's the 2 1. Tranmere Rovers back in the game here. And Jean Claude tried to get to that, but Liam Feeney gets the strike off before him. That was a good finish there by Liam Feeney. As the away fans are stacked, but the home fans aren't. See the crowd celebrating there. So again, nice ball, nice turn. Liam Feeney on it, and he makes sure to get that strike off with the left foot. It's a nice finish, man. We tried to get to that, really. See, Jean all <laughs> basically ran right over him. But it went in, so it doesn't even matter. As that makes it 2 1 here for Tranmere Rovers. Sorry for Smithies FC, but Liam Feeney really getting a big one. It's his first goal in the EFL League 2. As we move on here. Sorry, just trying to get some here. Ah, oh, get that off me. Okay, 40th minute here. Uh, ball to Simo looking for Fashionary. Send to Sam Jean Croix. Jean Croix packs in Aronson. Aronson into Bashar. Here's Bashar. Trying to play it around. Bashar has packs in Aronson. Can we get a third in this half? Ball to Simo. Ball to Simo making a solid run. Ball to Simo looking. He's looking for Jake. Jake finds the rise. The rise is gonna. Can he put it in the box? He does. It's Jake Matt. It's three one. It's Jake Matt at the double, and he's back at it once again. Our goal scorer with his fifteenth goal of the year. And right after Tramir Rover score, we get one right back from a Devries cross again. Devries been great finding Jake Matt, and he heads it right in there. What a great job by Jake Matt there. Uh Absolutely fantastic from him. And that's going to make it 3-1. Jake Matt putting the lead back to 2. Just fantastic. That This is 15th goal, right? In the 45th minute. Big time. We are going to go into half up 3-1. I'm just really happy about that. Because after I scored, I didn't think we can get one back. And we did. As the halftime whistle is about to blow. Okay, come on. No, actually, blow. Come on. There we go. Again, Jake Matt, big time performance from him. Paxton Aronson getting the first goal also. It's been fantastic. We've been able to open up their defense, and we've been all over them. We are the better team, really. So hopefully we can hold on to this lead. But knowing me, uh, we may not be able to. We may need another one. <laughs> Moving on to the second half here. Jack DeVries has it. Playing it back to Paxton Aronson. He's going to look for Jake Matt. Jake Matt trying to run with it. Keeps it. Does a nice job holding it up. Back to Taylor Bradshaw. It's Taylor Bradshaw. That's a big time save there by the keeper. Trying to go near post there. Decent play there again by Smithies FC. Taylor Bradshaw again that strike off. But it still remains at 3-1. Again, Smithies there. Thought that we could just extend that lead by one more. Here's Feeney. Finding Woolery. Woolery with it. Fashionary trying to get to him there. He plays it in the box. Jordan's all over that. Jordan here looking for Jack DeVries. DeVries playing it back to Bashar. Bashar here to Joe Scally. Scally with it. He's going to look for Jack DeVries. He plays it long. DeVries making a run. DeVries is going to find Jake Matt. Here goes Jake Matt. Jake Matt with it. Nice play by defense. Played into Taylor Bradshaw. Oh, that was a terrible header out wide. Bradshaw. He's got to do better than that. He leans in to head in and goes the exact opposite way he wants to. That's two big chances for him missed. But again, good play again. We have 20 minutes here to seal the deal. Here against Tranmere Rovers as it is a goal kick. They make a sub uh, double substitution or one substitution? Black and Taylor is coming off here as he's replaced. Sorry, Black and Taylor is coming on for Nugent. Again, Nugent playing pretty decent. McDonald with the header here to Lewis. Lewis back to McDonald. On oh, Nugent now with it. Spearing. Trying to play along. Nigel's on it. And that's turned over. It's Nugent with it. Nugent with the strike. And it's a flex off Jordan and in. What is Jordan doing? How does he not save that? Nugent from outside the box and somehow it's 3-2. What are you doing, Jordan? Oh, my goodness. Nigel trying to get, a, get it to Jordan, but it has a poor touch. And then Jordan comes out. 
and he's all over it, but the flex in his own net. Oh, he 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 dove past it. He dove past it and deflected it in his own net. Oh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan. <laughs> And somehow Tranmere Rovers are back in the game now. It's only a one goal lead. David Nugent with his third goal in the league too. Unbelievable. I, I can't believe Jordan let that in. As now we have 60 minutes to hold, hold a one goal lead. And you know how I'm with that. We had brought on Theo Corbono earlier. We're going to make a sub here. Bron, bring on uh, Tolkien. And we already have Ryder Zoe here. So we're going to ride with Zoe here and Tolkien. Uh, Bashar is just really tired. So we're going to take him out of the game here as uh, moving on to the 88th minute Taylor Bradshaw with it Bradshaw back to Paxton Aronson Aronson and it turns it over here's Blackett Taylor Blackett Taylor with it back to Lewis Lewis is looking for Walry Walry long Jordan goes to get it where's Jordan going Walry's gonna look he's gonna ship him oh my goodness what is Jordan doing he had it he had the ball there and he went back what is Jordan doing there? Walry chips the keeper after Jordan came out. He went to get it, and he just decided to dip. He thought he had no chance, but he definitely could have got to that. And now it's 3-3. Somehow, Tranmere Rovers are going to get a draw because Jordan is just making mistake after mistake. He had no chance off that chip. Oh, my goodness. I, I can't believe it. Jordan, man. Oh, my goodness. And why are you diving? You ain't getting nowhere near the ball. You diving back. You ain't even trying to go straight up. Unbelievable. We are actually going to get a draw because Jordan is trash. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm going to need... I don't know what I'm going to do with Jordan, man. We, we really need to train this guy. He's got a long way to go. And we're trying to push here. Maybe we can get one goal here to make it 4-3. Uh, we have Paxton Aronson here. Aronson looking around. He's going to find Taylor Bradshaw. Bradshaw looking, trying to play the jean turned over. We're going to end up getting a draw. Wolvery and Nugent late for Tremere Rovers. Off Jordan being really bad. And we somehow are tied 3-3. Smithy's not happy with that. He knows we should have been better there. Jordan just absolutely shocking. First, he gives up a goal that he should have saved. It was from outside the box. He was all over it. It hits his head and goes in. Somehow. The second one, I don't know why he does not even get the ball. Like, what are you doing, bro? Jake had a great game, and we so should have won that game. But Jordan, Jordan's out here goofing it up again. Gotta be better, Jordan. We gotta be better. We are here to win, bro. We're here to win. We ain't here to draw. We can do that in any game, man. As we head into the post-match interview here. The draw is a disappointment. Again, Paxton Aronson, great job, man. Look, I'm going to have to make a tough decision at Kim. I got Hugh Baldwin, Paxton Aronson, and I also have uh, Junior Story. I think it's going to end up being Hugh Baldwin's going to go on loan. Because right now, we can't afford to have him right now. As again, honestly, I was probably just taking some time to think about, man, how do we actually draw that? Jake was great. And again, we, we got to stay strong. We should be winning more games. We honestly should. We are a playoff team, but we're not playing like it. We're playing like a mid-table team. And again, Josh is ready and more available. Jake isn't happy. But honestly, Jake, we were up two goals. I really didn't think Jordan would do that. So I, I thought, okay, I'll bring out Theo Carbono. We got rest Jake for the next game because we're playing Salford City right after. Like only a few days later. As you can see, Tanner Ward is going to finish his uh, transition to striker. Bo Davis is going to loan. I may just get rid of them, I'll be honest, guys. I don't know. There's, I, I don't got that much room. You know, Youth Academy prospects are going to come thick and thin very fast. Uh, Tanner Ward here. We're going to move him to striker. And he's going to be... Uh, I was looking at it. What, what do I focus on? I like his high-low attacking work rate. So uh, we also have Tanner Brooks. He made a transition to left mid. Um, I'm just editing our work plan because right now we have, as you can see, we have an FA Cup game and then the EFL uh, Papa John's Trophy game. So I'm trying to make sure that we have as much stamina as possible for all of those games and we can rotate the squad. Tanner Brooks is going to make the move to left mid. He goes up to 56. 
Honestly, we have Adam Martin. I mean, maybe he has some good potential, but we... I don't really see him in our future plans. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Jimmy on a beat, boy. We, we, got, we got a big one there in Junior Story, so... We got Taylor Bradshaw again. That's still off for grabs, but again, still a lot of development. But Zachary Roberts is 16 now, so I believe I called him up here. We're gonna call some guys up. Uh, Zachary uh, Zachary Roberts looks really good. He, he looks like he's got some great potential. He's 16 years old. There's Tanner Ward, who's now 60 overall. Um, so we're gonna call him up. He looks really good. He looks like he's got some good potential. He could definitely be a backup striker to Jake. Again, he's most fit at striker, so we still need two solid strikers. He'll be the other one. I think Theo Kamara really doesn't have that potential. We uh, call up also Jake Armstrong there, so we were really good there. Um, look, moving on here, we uh, looking at scouting reports. Austin Evans is a maybe again. I don't know. Charles Kenny, I'm gonna say no. Andrew Trombley looks pretty Jimmy solid. So Tanner Blexa, we're gonna say no. And Reese Banks will say yes. He looks like a really solid keeper. Uh, moving on, uh, Jared Powell, I'll say yeah, um, do I say yes? Yeah, I do. Nick Bailey, maybe, Sean Armstrong, uh, I don't know, we, we don't, we're full in the Youth Academy squad. Isaac Williams, we're gonna reject, Joshua Bailey, I already got a solid keeper. Nick Michaels, I'm gonna, did I say no? I don't know. Uh, I don't really know about Nick Michaels, I'm gonna say no, nah. or at least wait. Uh, Thomas Phillips doesn't look too bad here. He's got 46, 62 overall. Decent potential. He could be really good. So, I'm going to look who do I release. Again, Trombley's pretty low rated, I'll be honest. He looks really, really low rated. There's Rory Andrew. Do I get rid of him? He's got some decent potential. Same with Noah Austin. But Andre Amaris, he, do, he doesn't have that good potential. He's only a 51 overall. So, I'm going to get rid of him. We're going to call up Thomas Phillips. And he doesn't look too bad, I'll be honest. Thomas Phillips... Looks like a center back. Okay, we'll take a full look at him to make a determination, but see what his overall is. We could use some center backs in CDMs because we don't we haven't had many of those. And looking at uh Jared Powell, I look into his development plan. He just looks like he's he's good physically, but technically he's terrible. So I'm just gonna look to make him a CDM. He's he's got some decent defending, he could definitely be a CDM. Uh Andrew Tremblay, he's pretty low rated. I mean we just gotta develop him. He must have good potential if he was worth that much. So we'll just work on him for now, but we might get rid of him later on. It depends how much he develops. Thomas Phillips is a 56 overall. He doesn't look too bad. He's already got some great technicals, some good defending. I looked. I was looking to get him in CDM, but he can't really be a CDM. He could be a fullback, but he's got some strength and aggression to him. He's got some solid jumping. He's got a low height of work rate. This guy's a center back, no doubt. So uh, he fits there. So we're gonna put him at center back. So that's Thomas Phillips right there. I really like what I see from him. We're gonna promote him to the senior team. I like him that much and he's pretty high rated. Like, I, I don't mind promoting him there. We're, we, we might give him time. Uh, Reese Banks here, 53 overall, 17 overall, 17 year old, 53 overall. Doesn't look too bad, but we do have Daniel Clarkson. So uh, you see there, Tanner Ward showing great potential. I'd like to see that. Moving on here, we have a game against Salford City. We end up simming this one. And we end up winning 1-0. Jake Mack getting our goal. We dominate this game altogether. And it shows that we should not be around the place of Salford City in the table. That was an away game that we dominated. I think we're a really good team. We should be doing better. So that's a solid win for us to give us a bit of a boost in the table. But right after this, um, I end up lone listing Nathan Wilson. And then Taylor Bradshaw, he wants more games. Don't worry, Taylor. He's already 60 overall now, so that's fantastic. I'm going to try to get you more involved. You're going to be my main left mid for now. And then Diego Durante can kind of be the backup. Moving on, we have a game here against Gunthorpe. Um, after that, we play Burton, Alban, Bolton, Forest Green, Cambridge, and Barrow. We got a lot of games this month, the month of December. Same with January. Uh, actually, no, just mainly December. So we're actually going to go to play this one here against uh, Scunthorpe. We look at our lineup. Thomas Phillips is getting a debut today. Hugh Baldwin gets to start a camp. All right, now we got the regulars, really. Jake Matt, Striker, Andrew Wright, Baldacimo, Bashar, Nigel, 
John Tolkien, Josh Matt, Jordan in net. So it's a pretty solid lineup again. I want to give Thomas Phillips a chance to show out. Julian Dent's a decent center back, so so is Thomas Phillips. I need to get used to him. He's a young player that's going to develop really well. Looking into their lineup, they got Loft, their striker again. I think we played them in the first game ever. They got Loft and Jarvis up there. Brown and Hornshaw on the fullbacks. Running that 4-4-2 here. As you can see, um, we get underway here in Smithy's move. He's starting off in the fifth minute. Uh, Jake Matt with it. Jake Matt looking around. And that's turned over, but Matt still keeps it. He's going to give it off to Bashar. Bashar back the ball to Simo. Nice play here. Jake finding Hugh Baldwin. Hugh Baldwin just waiting. Back to Jake. Jake, he's got Hugh Baldwin. Baldwin is through. Can Baldwin make it 1 0? Yes, he can. Nice finish there. We lead early here in the FA Cup. Hugh Baldwin with a big-time finish from Jake Matt. Nice build-up play there. I really like what Jake Matt showed there. Not that he's not just a striker that can finish, but he's also got some passing to him. You know what I mean? He can stay back and help develop play. play of course, he's, he's really short, so he's not going to head the ball. But I don't need that from my main striker. And Hugh Baldwin with a nice finish. Look at that. Absolute world-class there from Hugh Baldwin. And he gets us our first goal in the FA Cup. How about that? Absolutely fantastic. As it's 1-0 here in the 8th minute. All right. Here as we continue. I like the hairstyle there, Hugh Baldwin, at home here in Mitchell Park. So moving on here. Let's go into 27-minute car can. Turns it over here. Jake, uh, sorry, Josh Matt is with it. Playing it back to Nigel. Nigel's looking for Tolkien. Tolkien, oh, that's a poor pass by Tolkien. Turned over, ball to Seymour, can't get it back. Here's Ryan Loft. Jarvis, Jarvis back to Hollum. Hollum's going in. Hollum with the strike. Right at Jordan there early. Not too many chance, big chances here and early in the game, rather than that goal by Hugh Baldwin. Bashar with it. Hugh Baldwin again. Baldwin looking around. He's going to play deep to Andrew. Andrew's making a run for it. Andrew Santoro with it. Is he going to play in the box? No, he's going to cut in. Playing to Hugh Baldwin. That's a poor tackle. I don't know how that's not a foul. Jake Matt with it. Jake. Back to Paul DeSimo. Being nice and patient. Bashar. Jake. Baldwin. Oh, Jake. One, two. It's Hugh Baldwin. Oh, my goodness. How did he miss that? That was such good play by Jake and Hugh Baldwin. And he just missed it with his left foot trying to go far post. Sorry, uh, across. And just missed it. And that's going to be the end of the half. We are up only 1-0. No, we should be up 2-0 no right now. Really. Again, still a really solid half from the boys. Again, Jake, uh, sorry, Hugh Baldwin with the big finish. But, man, Jake Matz looked fantastic this game. He, Hugh Baldwin should have scored the other one. I'm sorry, Hugh, but I know you got the goal, but you should have scored the other one. That was a clear as day chance. Jake's hold-up play right now is looking fantastic. That's what I need out of a striker. Not just pace, but if you can hold up too, play, have a good hold up play, it's fantastic. Moving on to the 46th minute here. Uh, Hornshaw is with it. Into Pew. Loft, Ryan Loft. He's waiting here, and he's looking around. See who he has. Loft still dribbling. Oh, my goodness. Just trying to open up something. He gets finds Jarvis. Jarvis with it. Jarvis still going. Uh, Bradshaw's all over him. Jarvis here near post playing it back. The strike! Big time save by Jordan. That's some nice hold-up play by Jarvis. And Jordan protecting his near post like he usually doesn't. That was Hollum there with the strike. That was a solid save by Jordan, I have to say. He, he's getting better. He's, he's getting there. We'll say he's getting there. As we move on here, we have the corner here for Karkan. Karkan to take. Playing in... Bado, it's 1-1. Bado with the header. Uh, sorry, a bit late there. Just couldn't see. And Bado makes it 1-1. We were all over them. But we give up one chance there. And right after the corner after, that was a solid header by Bado. I don't know why our near post guy couldn't get it out. But still, cross in pretty far. That, that was a nice header. No chance for Jordan there as he tried to get across. But it was way too high. As again, Bradshaw couldn't win the header. And is that jean Uh No, 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 no. That's not jean -Croix. I think Scali couldn't get to that. As Scunthorpe United. How are they tied 1-1? I cannot believe that. Just poor from us, really. 
as it's 1-1 in the FA Cup here. Again, we just have to be better there. I, I can't, I'm really shocked that it got even a 1-1. Here's Hugh Baldwin playing at the Jake Matt. Jake Matt looking around. He's trying to play deep to Hugh Baldwin with the header, but that has no shot. That's just over. Again, not too much going in in the past few minutes here. As we move on, I believe a substitution is about to occur here. We are going, uh, Van Veen here is going to come on for Jarvis here. A striker change to try to give Scunthorpe United the win. As Van Veen goes there into the middle. Uh, Baldessimo with it. Baldessimo playing to Bradshaw. Bradshaw has it. Bradshaw with it. Can he find someone? He's going to look for Hugh Baldwin again. Oh, Hugh Baldwin. Oh, miss after miss. He's got to be better there. That's a clear as day header. And he was, he didn't even get it on target. That was way wide. Just could not get a solid head to it. Come on. You got, we have to be better there as he comes off here for Paxton Aronson, who had a goal last game. Uh, Tanner Ward also is going to come on for Jake Matt here in a 72nd minute. So we're just, Tanner Ward, this is actually Tanner Ward's debut here at the striker position. 60 overall. He's probably going to be my backup striker. I Again, I have a big decision to make in the winter. Do I play Theo Corbono or do I, uh, as my backup, or do I leave Tanner Ward there? And it's really hard, as Andrew has it here, looking for Bashar into Paxton Aronson. It's Baldessimo. Baldessimo looking around. He's got Taylor Bradshaw on the left, but he's just going to cut in. I, he should, probably should have found Bradshaw there. As he still has a finding Paxton Aronson. Aronson playing it into Bradshaw. Bradshaw in. He's going to find Tanner Ward. Oh, my goodness. We missed chance after chance. How did Tanner Ward miss that? It was his weak foot, but oh. Oh, it's got to be better. He he was looking at cross goal, but maybe he could have took a touch. I don't know. That's an unfortunate miss there as Carcan has it here. Finding Taft. Taft back to Carcan. Carcan, such a name, Carcan. Here's Van Veen. Sorry, Pew. Pew. 86 minute loft into Van Veen. It's Van Veen. Oh, no. Van Veen late makes it 2 1. And if we don't score here, we're going to be eliminated from the FA Cup. Van Veen with a huge strike. Unreal. I cannot believe that we didn't win this game. We were so much better than them. Maybe we got one late, but oh, just nice nice play there. Van Veen goes to the inside. Nice strike with his left foot, unlike Tanner Ward or Hugh Baldwin. That was really nice from Van Veen. And that is going to make it 2-1 here. That's a huge goal for Kevin Van Veen. His first in the cup, of course. And we are down right now 2-1 with only a few minutes left. Uh, Tanner Ward's with it. Can we get one more last one here in the 94th minute? Here's Paxton Aronson. Paxton Aronson making a run. It's Paxton Aronson. Oh, he misses way wide. We end up losing this one. Here to Scunthorpe United. Final score of 2-1. to one. Kevin Van Veen was the star of the, this time with the late goal. And the fans at Mitchell Park are not happy. And I'm not happy either. We so should have been better than this. We are better than this. We are Smithies FC. We missed so many key chances. And we just didn't play like I know the team we could play like. As the away fans are going to come home happy, we are eliminated here from the FA Cup. Thanks to two goals from Badeau and a late one from Van Veen. Here as the Mitchell Park fan base not happy. There are some other results here in the FA Cup. Actually, we have our post-match interview here. Again, not the greatest. That's all I got to say. We could have done better. We could have done much more. We are better than this. Tanner Ward, it was not a good debut, but he's got great potential. Same with Phillips. He's not that bad. I need to improve his agility. He doesn't seem that agile, but he's got some good jumping, aggression, and all that. He seems like a solid, tall center back. Nigel kind of more has more of that agility. Moving on, we have a Papa John's Trophy game against Burton at Auburn. Uh, Paxton Harris wants to play. But this is a bit harder. We're playing an EFL League 1 side. So I think I wanted to bring out the best lineup. I wanted to win this game here. We're an EFL League 2 team, so we care about this. And we end up simming this one, and we end up getting the win. Diego Dorate with the goal. We brought out our A game today in that game. We made sure we were advancing from round two. 
So that was great. Right after we have a game against Bolton, we're going to sim here quickly. Um, they're a top tier team. We end up drawing 2 2. Andrew uh, got the first goal. And who got the second goal again? Was it uh, Durate? Yeah, Durate. Diego Durate getting the second goal. So our winger is getting the goals there. Uh, they got two one two goals also. Nice save by Jordan on a penalty. So end up saving a penalty. That's good to see. So we, we need to get in better form here in the league. When draws are not good enough. As we have a scam report here by Zachary Blake. Uh, Jasper Mason, I don't know, man. I really I really don't know. Dexter Brazen, no. Finley Page is maybe. Ollie Parkin, no. Evan Andrews, uh, maybe. Cameron Woolley, maybe, no. Sam Fuller, no. Jacob Story, oh, Jacob Story. Jacob Story. Oh, I forget. I mentioned him earlier. Uh, this, this is Jacob Story here. He's really good. I'm getting caught up uh, last episode. 1.7 million. That's the highest we've had. And again, this that is great to see, really. And we're proud of Baldessimo here as we move on. Um, looking here at the Youth Academy. Uh, we're taking a look at some of these guys. Jacob Story is the one. He really is the one, isn't he? We were looking for him again. His pace is low. He's got good passing, good dribbling. Again, I looked at this, but I looked at this for a while. I rested on because I wanted him to be a winger. But I had to put him at cam. I have no option but to put him at cam. He's best fit for cam. So, uh, looking at the table here to end the episode, we are in 13th with 32 points. We're not too far from the top. We're only four points from the top with the game in hand. Sorry, from the playoff with a game in hand so that's not too bad uh 42 points for all the math like there at the top so we're uh 10, 10 points with the game in hand away from the top again that's pretty far but we're quite a ways from the bottom which is 22 points so we're 10 points away from the uh, top 10 points away from the bottom guys this series has been really fun we are in the month of december if you enjoy this as you can see we play four screen cambridge united we're gonna sim barrel in bradford city but guys if you enjoyed this episode let me know, like, comment, and subscribe. Here we have uh, Swin in town in the next round. And really, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed this series. As I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a good day.